Hi everybody! Just wanted to make a video today talking about the current astrology that we are experiencing right now. Right now it is May 2020 and we are experiencing Venus retrograde in Gemini squaring Neptune and I just wanted to talk about it right now while it's going on because I'm really, really feeling it right now. And as a professional astrologer, I feel it is my duty to share this information with you guys. So, Venus is the planet that rules relationships, money, beauty, um, diplomacy, fairness. It can talk about uh, legal issues. Um, it rules women, especially younger women. Um, Venus is how we are in relationships. It has a lot to do with balance and relationships, but also with material possessions, emotions, nature, art. Um, all of those things are ruled by Venus. So when Venus goes retrograde, it doesn't actually go backwards, but it appears to be going backwards from our perspective on Earth. And a lot of astrologers believe that during this time, it just, it can intensify the energy of Venus. Um, but it's considered to be not an auspicious time to do Venus-related things, because when Venus goes direct or moves forward again, you might change your mind. So, whenever Venus is going retrograde, regardless of the sign or aspect, it's not a good time to get any sort of permanent or semi-permanent um, change to your appearance. So, it would not be a good time to get any sort of plastic surgery. It's not a good time to get a haircut. Um, it's not a good time to change your wardrobe, it's not a good time to buy makeup, and what's funny about this is that the urge to do these sort of Venusian things is so strong. Like, I know for me personally, I'm so interested in dating right now, and I'm so interested in makeup, but I have to remind myself, because I did buy makeup one time during a Venus retrograde, and it was... It was terrible. It was so um, there was this foundation, and it it looked like exactly what I wanted. It like it ha it was one of my favorite brands, and it had SPF in it. And I was like, oh, this is perfect. This is exactly what I want. It's one of my favorite brands. I already know I'm gonna like it because I love this brand. It has the SPF in it, which is what I want. It looks like my color. And then, oh my God, when I put it on. It, like, it made my skin look so bad. It, like, I had to just throw it away because it was that bad. It, there was, like, no, no saving it. It made my skin look, like, all dry and cracked and it wasn't the right color. So, <laughs> that is a perfect example of this energy right now. Things are going to appear to be the perfect thing, but they're super not. And that is because Venus retrograde is squaring or making a harsh aspect with Neptune. You can think of a square almost like, it's almost like the planets are people, right? And the aspects that are making are the type of conversation that they're having. So a square is almost like an argument. It's like Venus is kind of arguing. We're not agreeing with Neptune right now. And Neptune is the planet um, of illusions. Neptune rules many things, but one of the things that Neptune rules is illusions. And so you have the planet of love with the planet of illusion not agreeing. So I am a Pisces. Pisces sun and moon, so I'm very familiar with this Neptune energy, and um, it's like, uh, the, the energy of love is already so 
like, hard to see things clearly, right? But then when you have this aspect going on, it can just make for a lot of deception when it comes to love. So, um, right now is not a good time to start a relationship if you're single. And it's really funny because somebody that I went to middle school with just randomly messaged me out of the blue and was asking me on a date, but he wasn't calling it a date. I was like, are you going to take me on a proper date? He's like, don't call it a date. I was like, okay, well then I'm not interested. Like, He was literally asking me if I wanted to go over to his house to look at his Lego collection. And he was saying things that were really like red flag. But I was aware that they were red flags because I'm fully aware that Venus is retrograde scoring Neptune right now. But if I wasn't, if I didn't know that, if I didn't know my astrology, I might have fallen for that. Ugh, God. This is why I, it's so important for me to tell you guys this. Um, yeah, so if you're already in a relationship, then... On the negative side, um, Venus square Neptune with a retrograde Venus can manifest as deception and lies in the relationship. However, on the positive side, it can um, be really great for romance and creativity within the relationship. So when it comes to astrology, the energy has to play out. It has to play out one way or another. So when you become aware of it, when you become conscious of it, you can steer things in the direction that you want them to go. So you don't want to have deception and lies in your relationship, right? So make sure to be doing a lot of romantic and creative things with your partner right now during this time. And um, let's see here. So this influence is happening all of May. So all of May 2020 will be under this influence of Venus square Neptune. And Venus will go direct at 5 degrees Gemini on June 25th. So all of May and the first week of June will be under this influence of Venus square Neptune. Um, right, so then for the people who are single... Now is really not a good time to start a new relationship. You don't want to start a new relationship under this energy because then the whole relationship is going to kind of carry this weird energy and you don't want that. Um, Right, don't buy makeup. Um, Now is a really great time for doing anything creative. So if you are single, um, use this time to do anything creative that involves the imagination. Yes. So I think that's all I had to say on that. (laughs) Um, Forewarned is forearmed. Make sure that if you are dating... Um, make sure you're not mistaking some red flags for some golden sparkly ones, because it's really easy to do that during this time. Oh, and another thing I wanted to say. So, Venus is love, relationships, right? And Neptune is delusion, we talked about that. And because Venus is retrograde, it's like going over the past. So it can be... Thinking about past lovers in a delusional way. I know for me personally, I've been really thinking about unblocking one of my exes. And then I keep having to remind myself, no, this it's Venus retrograde score Neptune. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Like, just wait it out. Wait it out. Because you can always unblock and reach out later. I mean, if you really feel the need to reach out to someone... By all, me- by all means, like, don't let me stop you, but I just know that for me personally, I'm going to w- force myself to wait, even though it's so hard, because this energy right now is so strong. It's really making me think about my exes a lot. 
Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. And thank you so much for listening. Remember, keep those eyes peeled for red flags. Thank you so much for watching.